Ooh, that loading thing looks pretty familiar to Nintendo fans. Yeah, it's Yoshi's Crafted World demo, baby. I don't have the full game, but I'm definitely gonna get the full game. This is just something a little different. I don't know if I'd call this a random gameplay because it's not like part of a game. Even though it is kind of a part of a game, but it's not a part of a full game. And it's also not a movie, because it's... Well, I'm gonna 100% demo, I don't really consider this a full game. And, because, you know, it's the demo, even though that it, it's all that I can play. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, you can... Whatever it is, you can play around in it. And that's what I'm gonna make a video on, just to mix things up. So I don't know what those two are doing back there, but it seems suspicious. Yes, you can rotate the whole island here of paper plates and cardboard and stuff like that and find little pups with the control stick, left control stick I should say. Anyway, let's get this started. And as you can tell by the, the name of the game, Yoshi's Crafted World as well as the style that's going on here. It's like an arts and crafts style game and whatnot. How's it going? The name's Finn! Finn Blockefeller! Har har. How do you do? Yoshi indeed! Yoshi is it? I didn't, you didn't ask my name, you asked me how I was doing. This whole place is made up of crafts. Wanna come play it? Yeah, I guess it can't be that dangerous, I think. Great, head on over to Rail Yard Run. Oh, okay, got anything else to say here? Great, head on, nope, you do not. Rail Yard Run, the only level we can play in the demo. Let's go. So, uh, th th this looks a little familiar, I would say, to Yoshi's Island players. Yeah, you gotta find five flowers, get a hundred coins, it's a new thing for their dealio. Gotta max out our health, and get all 20 red coins. Sound good? I think so, yeah, definitely, definitely very Yoshi's Island-like, and it feels very Yoshi's Island-like. And you know me and my collectibles, I like my collectibles. He's just rolling out the yellow carpet for himself, and have a good day. That carpet was a lot longer than it looked, so I've got to say. I mean, this, this thing just keeps going and go. Wait, wait, no, no, maybe that was the end of the carpet? Right there, perhaps? Maybe? I don't know. You press the R button. Get your egg raring up, use the control stick to move the cursor any which way that you please. Yeah, there's stuff in there. In this case, I'm gonna throw it at the piranha plant, and it's a goner. See these three coins? Red coins, yes! They're disguised, just like Yoshi's Island. Oh, I think I did that a little earlier than the tutorial told me. <laughs> this is supposed to be press and hold A to make Yoshi flutter in there, and then you're supposed to do that to collect the coins. But that's okay. I know the game's controls. First flower of the game, baby. But besides throwing eggs in the foreground, you can also throw them in the background. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> Cows have gotta go. I, I don't know why they've gotta go, but we can make them go. Fuck. You can also throw things in the for foreground. I, I guess you could call it. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe this is like the the main ground that I'm standing on. Not over there is the foreground. I guess you would call it. I don't know how I would describe it at this point, but that is a nice cinematic train. I've got to say. After gobbling an enemy up with B, Yoshi will make an egg. I've already kind of been doing that. B button. B button galore! And yes, it's an unlimited pipe of Shy Guys. And yes, the controls are pretty dang similar to Yoshi's Island as well, so... Since I've pretty well mastered that game, I can play this one pretty fluently. And now, did you see my egg back there? See how they're disappearing? You can only hold a maximum of six eggs. The other ones will drop off from the oldest to the newest, I guess you could say, in throw order. So about that shy guy back over there, yeah, you might be having fun over there, but he's having too much fun. Sorry, buddy! <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, you may, you may throw things any which way you please at anything that you please as long as it locks on. And you can also cancel your throw with, with a the B button. Anyway, can I go down the piper? I don't think I can go down the piper. No, I don't know. I tried that before, I think, when I initially played that. But anyway, activate the aiming cursor. Use the control stick to aim for sex to throw an egg. I've been using the R button, actually. Meow, like that. 
Ha-ha! Take that! Ha-ha-ha-ha! Now I can never go back under there again. Sad. So very sad. Health! Health! We must max it out for 100%! We must kill the cows just because! <laughs> well, it's a paper cow, so... Maybe... We're not, we're not really killing them, they're just there, and we're knocking them over like a shooting gallery. Anyway, I filled back up on eggs. We are good to go again. I'll save those in case I need more eggs, I suppose. Oh, I actually could. Besides, besides shooting it over there, I could also do it like that. <laughs> That'll also work just as well. Woo! You can toss eggs in a distance by aiming at the controls. I already taught this, baby! So let's just go ahead and throw eggs there. Let's throw eggs here. Let's throw eggs at the present. Let's throw eggs everywhere! <laughs> that cow's got- oh, I don't have any more eggs. That cow's gotta go! I know- oh, oh that, uh, that weird colored egg here, that one's a new one. It'll give you two eggs when you uh, destroy something with it, I do believe. Yeah, it's like a egg multiplier. So you actually got, I guess you could say technically three eggs and you have that certain colored egg. It's like a, a dark teal or something like that. Anyway, as, as in Yoshi's Island fashion, you want to hit everything you can. You want to collect everything you can and see what the poop everything has to offer because, well, it might be red coins, it might be flowers. You gotta kill those cows because you gotta make some stakes. You gotta open up some pathways to make progress forward. Yeah, it's a good time. I do believe this is a checkpoint, but I never died, so I'm not sure if it is. I'm almost positive it's a checkpoint, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. If you think you're going to find the gems, think again! In fact, you'll never even leave this place! How is that possible? How are you going to stop us? Oh, uh, well, I guess that'll do. <laughs> Without a working train, you're dead in your tracks! Good luck finding the missing parts! Well, looks like we've got to do our questing now. To see on the bottom of the screen there? Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and get ourselves looking around here. Yep, we can go. We can go inside buildings too. Why not? Watch us. Watch us. See this hatch? Sorry. <laughs> Monk. Number three of the flower family. Oh, and I also. Um, well, besides finding this, which is pretty cool, um, I also found something really odd oops, really odd about this demo at this point, is that if you throw an egg at- well, I didn't do it right. Like, yeah, if you throw the egg at the wall, you can bounce off your own egg, and then that kind of tipped me off that I could do other things with that. Like, say, if I were to throw eggs down on the ground, you can use that to kind of get over stuff. And I found that just by trying to break into this building, because it looked like, you know, it's got those windows, and I thought, hmm, maybe you could get inside that. You can't, but I accidentally came across what might be a bug. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended, because it's quite possible that maybe they'll use that as a additional, like, maybe aspect of super hard levels or something like that in the special zone or something like that of secret levels that you gotta unlock for collecting everything in the game. Who knows? Oops, I did that way too late. Nope. Well, I can do that, I suppose. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can throw your train parts as many times as you please. <laughs> Just like any other egg. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're a train part, you can throw them around like crazy. But they aren't the only thing that you can throw around too, there's another one. Which is a delicious iced coffee. Yes! Actually, I don't like coffee whatsoever. <laughs> Something about the flavor is kinda, kinda just doesn't work with my taste buds, but I do love the smell of it. Uh, can I, wait, actually, can I throw stuff at the trees now? No, I just want to see here really quick, just, no, no, never tried that before, so I thought maybe, maybe I could. Anyway, you've got to go, because you've got a red coin. <laughs> so I've got my loop almost completed here, and you'll notice that even though you can get six eggs on the field, you won't be able to... Oh wait, I thought... Oh, it must just be the other section that I can't have more than... Well, you'll see what I mean by that a little bit later on, but anyway. <laughs> Gotta open that up, get that flower, it's also a little shortcut, so I could also open that up on the other side, but it's just, it's more, you know, it's more visible on this side, I guess you could say it, you'll notice it. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, not taking any damage because we've got to get this level 100%ed. And yes, we've already got 100 coins to finish off this dealio here. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> can I? No, can't throw it at that. Alas, alas, you can only throw it at certain buildings. So experimentation is key. Although maybe there's some sort of indicator that uh, will tell you when you can actually destroy something that I'm not picking up on. Like, some of those you could knock around, others, nope. So anyway, I got all the train parts, and if you like to see here, yeah, I got, got everything on there, except for one flower. And if you look around everywhere, that flower is nowhere to be found. Nowhere! But anyway, I should probably repair that train. There we go! Woo! So where is that flower then? Uh, well, you better watch out and you better not cry, because if you miss this flower, it's not gonna fly, because you're gonna have to restart the level from the very beginning. You've got to shoot at the flower while on this moving train. So be prepared with your egg. See, you can actually see it partly in the background of that tall smiling hill at the upper right portion of the screen there. I don't know if I can aim at it now. That's uh, right around there. But yeah, I just want to get my egg raring to go here, so I do not miss it. There we go! 100% baby! Woo! Or is it 100%? It sure looks like it's 100%, doesn't it? Well, you see Yoshi's Crafted World kind of has a couple of other elements to it. And you can, you can avoid that tape, but you're still gonna break that tape. <laughs> But you'll see what I mean about other elements in just a minute here. Woo! So that is 100%ing rail yard runs. First run, I guess you could say. Wink, wink. Yeah, get 100 coins, you get a flower. Keep your health at maximum, 20 out of 20, get a flower. All red coins, get a flower. Get all the flowers for 100%, basically. Woo! And I presume that the coins will be used as currency to buy stuff in the full game. I don't have the full game yet, but as I said, I will. <laughs> uh oh. It's a pup! A pupper! Baby Poochie! Oh, triple pooch! Oh no, don't run! I, I, I'm safe, don't worry, I won't eat you. What will you do? Well, you can go back to the world map or go find them. We're gonna go find them, because you see, we've got to get them for 100%ing this level. And also, pause the game, you'll see you got to do it in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's not exactly clear at the start of this, uh, when I first played this. In fact, I because we're going through the level backwards, I was like, hmm... I can explore this thing looking like getting different perspectives on the level now. So I did, and you know, I went through every nook and cranny. And then after I beat the level, I found out that I had to do it in under 230. And I was like, ah, oh, I have to redo it then. So I'm gonna try and try and keep at a decent pace. So yeah, touch the poochie pup, it'll follow ya. So yeah, it's also why I paused when I did the explanation because it's a it's a semi speed run, I guess you could say. I'm gonna try and show you uh, a good amount of stuff around here as quickly as I possibly can, uh, and also gonna obviously skip a bunch of stuff because all you really need to do is get all three pups. I don't have to get red coins, I don't have to get flowers or anything like that, just gotta get the pups. So if you'd like to, you can just go right ahead and run through everything. But as I said, I'm gonna give you just a little little exploring just because you can see the opposite side of things. Like you'd see Yoshter cookies as an indicator of Yoshi's cookie. Um, uh, if I recall, uh, there's, yeah, there's both the video game, which is likely a reference of that, as well as the Yoshter cookie in Super Mario RPG. Now you can also see, since the uh, back of the buildings like this, that you couldn't see buildings before, like you see Moo Moo Milk over there, I guess you could call it Moo Moo Milk, I don't know if I necessarily say it's Moo Moo Milk, it could be! But anyway, I gotta get this pup, there we go, now you, you can throw the pups unlimited, just like you could throw those train parts in a limited amount of times. <laughs> I know, it seems cruel, but don't worry, they appear to like it. 
So you want to throw the pups at the other pups. You can get those pups if you to well if you toss eggs at them. You can coax them over to the, the dark side. I, I guess you could say. See, so yeah, I'm basically just running through this really quick here for the most part. Hopefully, showing you as much as I possibly can show you before the clock runs out. Handle with care, indeed. These pups could be delicate. But so so you know you don't want to throw them too hard. Jelly beans, caramel treats everywhere. Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, there's a pup in here. I know, I know, there's a pup in there. I'm just joking around. <laughs> I know. In fact, I accidentally came across that on my first run, just running through there because I already knew that that tunnel was there when I got the red coins on my first run. So yeah, I showed you everything, at least for the most part. Got it under 2 minutes 30 seconds. Heck yeah! Woo! But that's not all. Because you see, there's another challenge. And we shall see what it is soon enough. <laughs> there goes a couple more flowers, baby. We're gonna get all the flowers for 100%. Now we go back and talk to him. Hey, Yoshi! Whew. How'd you like Sunshine Station? So much to see, huh? Yeah, I guess. I've been hoping for a local souvenir. I've done, I'd love some cows. Please, I think five should do the trick. Oh no, the cows! I saw a ton of them grazing in some fields. Can you collect five of them for me? If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. So I guess we are collecting them. Oh man, we can't kill them this time. We've got to collect them. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the same dialogue. Alright, so we got the pups. We can now press the Y button to see here. Cows? Yes, yes. I am ready to go. Play course on the front side. Get those cows. So we just basically need five eggs to, you know, get the cows. And we also got to keep our eyes peeled in the background for said cows. So, yep, just, just eat the or just eat the shy guys, get some eggs. There we go. How did I miss that? I think it, I think the cursor thought it was touching the coin. Well, I mean, I was touching the coin, but... <laughs> and by the way, you can see uh, when you completed a level, the red coins show up. I mean, I should say red coins that you've uh, collected before will show up as just red coins in with them even though that they would normally be disguised otherwise. Anyway, cow, bye-bye, woof, that would be two, I think I missed a cow back there, but I need more, need more eggs. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna kinda, kinda go over to the unlimited egg pipe here, if you don't mind. There, you go, just click the couple of them, I'll go to, go, go, I'll get four just to play it safe here, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm speedrun tacticing, basically, although I guess a speedrunner would be like super risky, one-shot perfection for maximum speed dealio, but yeah, I thought I missed a cow uh, uh, somewhere back, I thought, or maybe I, maybe I didn't, oh, I guess I didn't, I, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't, I said that like three times. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though. We'll get those cows. It's a short level anyway. I'll just kind of skip over you if you don't mind. <laughs> and unfortunately, unfortunately, shy guys, they are not cows. So while you can throw eggs at them in the foreground and background or midground, unfortunately, it will not get you any progress whatsoever. Oh, I guess you do technically need an egg, like another extra egg to get past that, I suppose. At least, well, I was gonna say, unless you do that jump trick with the eggs, but actually you'll probably need more eggs than that to get up. And, because otherwise you just, you know, use one egg as opposed to a bunch of eggs to unlimited lift yourself with them. Anyway, look at that! We can either keep playing or exit the car. So, so basically keep playing if you haven't 100% of the level already, but we did, so we can exit. Everything is good to go. All the ones that we collected before will show up as like faded out flowers and whatnot, so it, it won't actually go to your total if you just keep collecting flowers, like grinding them into levels, I would presume, probably, from the looks of things. That would be kind of cheap if you could do that, because you just go to a level that you, you have an easy time with and just run through it with memorizing everything. Whoa, you found me some cows! As thanks to your help, I present you with this! A flower! 
We got 13 flowers for one level. That's called the Smiley Flower. If you collect Smiley Flowers, you'll be able to access new areas. I'll even show you some of the other places. And this is where Nintendo is like, see you around. Here's an advert, basically, because demos are technically adverts. So we're going to show you a trailer of Yoshi's Crafted World of all the levels that you can come across. And it does look like it's going to be fun. <laughs> So yeah, I, 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 I might make a walkthrough on the full game eventually in the future, depending on how much I like it. Like all of all games, I mean, sometimes, sometimes demo is pretty fun. But when you get the real game, it's not so fun. Who knows? Who knows? So I guess I'll see when I get the full game. But I'll, I bet it's pretty good because Yoshi's Island games been having a pretty consistently good level design overall, so yeah, yeah. It was uh, a little hiccup in the form of Yoshi's Topsy Turvy, but uh, that wasn't really a Yoshi's Island game. This is kind of like a one-off tilting game and whatnot. You're welcome for playing. So um, there's another thing that you probably uh, wanted to see is the... Um, the easy mode dealio thing is that when you start the game, well, uh, before it showed that you could choose the mode, um, but now you're gonna have to actually choose. Oh, yeah, this also happens here. Congratulations, you collect all the smiley flowers! That's it for the demo version. Believe it or not, there's a whole lot more to see. You could check out the full version to see the rest. Yes, of course. But yeah, the other thing is the play style. That you were able to choose mellow mode and classic mode. Mellow mode is basically that you can fly all over the place. I'll show you that here really quick. Just play the chorus. Uh, I don't have to play the whole thing to show you what mellow mode is like, but yeah, you can basically just flutter on all over the place. I never really use this other than just to check it out in uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, you just keep on flying all day and all night with your flutter jump. Oh yeah. Now this could, that actually could be a pretty cool element for um, like an entire level based around it. But it seems to be only used for, you know, like specifically making the game easier. But even, even so, it's a pretty neat element to have. Like, it, yes, it does make the game easier because you can just basically jump over anything that you want, but at the same time, you know, you, you still gotta collect stuff. <laughs> so it's it's not game breaking per se. It's just a nice nice little addition. Well, unless you don't want to collect stuff, I guess you, I guess you could say. And although I don't I don't really know if you want to do that because you're gonna you're gonna miss out on some secret levels. I would bet. Let's put it that way, <laughs> if it's following in the footsteps of the Yoshi's Island series. Anyway, since that is all for the demo version that I can show, I am going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in another video.